Guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I will be giving you my honest review about Cadence and what I think about the plugin in general. Is it really good for building WordPress websites and how does it compare to other page builder plugins like Elementor and Gutenberg? This is a particular plugin that has been on my radar for quite some time now because a lot of you who watch my channel have been asking that I make more tutorials around Cadence, which by the way, I will. In fact, in about two weeks from now, I will be uploading the tutorial on how to build this particular website for an Italian restaurant by making use of Cadence, okay? You're gonna love this tutorial, so if you're interested, of course, be on the lookout for this particular tutorial. I will upload in about two weeks from now. All right, now back to Cadence, okay? What exactly is Cadence? Is it good, is it bad? Is it better than Elementor? Is it better than Gutenberg? Let's get started. All right, so the first thing I wanna talk about here would be Cadence itself. It is important for you to understand that Cadence isn't just a plugin, but it's also a theme. So you have the Cadence theme and then you have the Cadence plugin. It's not like Elementor, for example, that is the Elementor plugin. Yes, you do have a theme for Elementor, which is the Hello theme, but the Hello theme doesn't really do anything, okay? It's just there to support the main plugin, which is Elementor itself. With Elementor and Elementor Pro, you can pretty much do whatever you want to do. You can build templates, build any kind of page, and so on. With Cadence, you have the Cadence Blocks plugin, but then you also have the Cadence theme. Now, the Cadence Blocks plugin, you can use that plugin on any website, I'm sorry, on any theme that you want to, but in all honesty, using the Cadence Blocks with the Cadence theme would be the best way to go. So moving forward, when I'm comparing Cadence with, say, Elementor or Gutenberg, I'm in, I'm in fact comparing the Cadence theme and, and plugin as one in comparison to Elementor and Gutenberg. So please, I want you to keep that in mind. Which, by the way, if you go to the Cadence website and you go to Products and you click on View All Products, you will see that they have the Blocks Pro add-on, an add-on for the Blocks plugin. Then they also have the Pro add-on for the Cadence theme. So you have the Cadence theme, which you can get for free, and the Cadence Blocks plugin, which you can get for free. But then you can also get the premium versions of both the plugin and the theme that will give you more functionality. I hope that isn't too complicated for you to understand. Now, let's talk about speed, which is, of course, a crucial factor for many of you when it comes to choosing a page builder for your website. I can tell you right now that Cadence is definitely a much faster plugin than Elementor. I didn't even have to run any page speed tests or anything like that. The whole editing experience, just waiting for the page to load, adding elements, things like that, it's a lot smoother when you work with Cadence as opposed to Elementor. I'm pretty sure if you've worked with Elementor, there are times when it might take an extra three, four seconds just for the page to load when you're trying to edit a particular page using Elementor. With Cadence, it's very, very, very quick. So when it comes to a performance comparison, Cadence is without question a much better performing plugin than Elementor is. But what about ease of functionality or ease of use? Well, I can tell you that in comparison to Elementor, Cadence is actually the inferior of the two plugins. With Cadence, the whole editing experience isn't quite as smooth or as friendly as Elementor is. So the thing about Elementor is that whenever you're editing your page or creating a page, you're basically doing everything on the front end. As an example, I'm trying to edit my contact page right here with Elementor. I have access to all my elements. Let's say, for example, I wanted to add an image in here. Every image I basically add or anything I do right now will be exactly what it would look like on the front end. So I can update the page, view the page, it will exactly be the same as it is on the editing screen. However, with Cadence, just like Gutenberg, all the editing takes place in the back end. Yes, I do have access to all my Cadence blocks in here. I can add an advanced button, I can add an advanced image and so on. But in order to actually see what the changes would look like from the front end, I will have to update the page and then view the page. So when it comes to adding your elements, editing pages, creating posts, contents, stuff like that, Elementor is definitely superior to Cadence. Also, when it comes to creating templates for your single posts, your header, footer, and so on, working with Elementor is a lot easier than it is with Cadence. Let's say, for example, we wanted to build the template for our single posts. 
what kind of content would you expect to be working with? You would expect to work with content like the title of the post, uh, the featured image of the post, the post content, and so on. With Elementor, it's so straightforward. Right here, for example, I have access to the post title, which I can click and drag, drop it in there. That's the title of the post. I can go back in here, drop the featured image, that's the featured image of the post and so on. With Elementor, it's very, very straightforward. With Cadence, you can do this, but it's a lot trickier. Let me show you. I'm trying to create the exact same template for my single post with Cadence. What, let's say I wanted to add the featured image of the post. What I'll need to do is to go to my blocks in here. Let's add the, the advanced image block for the featured image. However, right now, what I'll need to do is right here on the right, I'm going to have to make use of this particular tool right here, dynamic image, click inside, enable the dynamic image. And now in here, I'll have to say, okay, I am choosing the featured image of the post and there it is. So yes, you can create templates for your single posts, your pages and so on, just like with Elementor. However, with Cadence, it's a little bit trickier than it is with Elementor. So once again, when it comes to the ease of use functionality, Elementor definitely wins. Now let's talk about the features available to you with both the free and paid versions of the Cadence theme and compare that with the free and paid versions of Elementor. When it comes to the free versions, I can tell you right now that Cadence actually offers you more for free than Elementor does. The thing about the Elementor uh, free version plugin is that it's quite limited. You do have access to quite a number of blocks for creating your content and so on, but then you cannot create templates, you cannot modify your header, your footer, you can't even add your form, your form element without using the paid version of Elementor. However, with the free version of the Cadence theme, even though you can build templates for your header or footer and so on, you still have access to a ton of customization options. As an example right here, I am using the free version of the Cadence theme, by the way. I can go right here to header, and from here, I can modify my header in a number of ways. I have access to quite a wide variety of items in here. I can add a secondary navigation, I can add a button, I can add social media uh, items as an example. So right down in here, I can add social, Okay, and then I can click inside in here and I can modify, maybe add Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I can modify the row where I have all those elements. I can add like a background color, adjust the pattern, adjust the margins, all this for the free version of Cadence. Same goes with the footer as well. I can modify the footer in quite a number of different ways. You cannot do this with the free version of Elementor. And it's not just about editing the header or the footer, even adding things like your custom colors, your fonts for the buttons, typography, things like that. You have access to a lot more than Elementor. Also, WooCommerce, right down in here, I can customize my account layout, okay? I can do things like show the username and avatar or hide that one. Uh, product images, sorry, this is uh, WooCommerce by default, but the single product layout as an example, right? In here, I can adjust things like, okay, where do I want to display the content of my product? Is it above the title area or maybe below the title area? Which kinds of sidebars do I want to use? To cut this uh, long story short, when it comes to the free, version of, free versions of the Cadence theme and Elementor plugins, Cadence wins hands down. However, this is where I need to mention the role that third parties play. I'm talking about third party developers that can make add-ons for Elementor or Cadence. The, see, the thing is with Cadence, I doubt there are any third parties out there developing add-ons for Cadence. I haven't seen, maybe there are, but I haven't seen. Now with Elementor, there's a ton of third party developers out there who create plugins and add-ons for the Elementor plugin. As an example, when it comes to you building your header and footer templates, even if you're working with the free version of Elementor, you can still build your templates for the header and footer by making use of this plugin right here called Elementor Header and Footer by Brainstorm Force. It's completely free. This is one massive advantage Elementor has over Cadence. When it comes to access to third-party developers and more functionality and more features that you can use for free, in addition to the free version of Elementor, 
uh, elemental wins hands down when compared to cadence so please keep that in mind however if you if you don't want to use third parties out there uh, cadence definitely wins but what about the paid versions of elemental pro and then the paid version of cadence one thing i want to draw your attention to is that when it comes to cadence there are actually two types of bundles that you can pay for you do have the free bundle which gives you access to the free theme the free uh, uh, blocks plugin and so on but you have the essential bundle that will give you access to the pro version of the theme the pro version of the cadence blocks plugin and then access to the pro starter templates and then custom fonts if you're comparing just this one this particular bundle with Elementor Pro, Elementor Pro wins hands down. Elementor Pro offers you so much more functionality. But when you now bring in the full bundle of Cadence, this gives you access to an insane amount of functionality. Right down here, if I was to click on access all plugins, right here, you would see things like the shop kit, specifically for WooCommerce, where you can add variation swatches, advanced reviews, product bans. Uh, you have access to the Cadence Cloud, the Cadence Conversions, which allows you to use six different kinds of launch triggers, built-in analytics. You have the simple share, custom fonts, recapture. You even have access to reading time element and also the WooCommerce email designer element, amongst others. The truth is, overall, it is really hard for me to decide which offers you more functionality and features when talking about the paid versions. I would give it to Cadence overall, but that is, of course, if you go with the full bundle of Cadence, which costs you $200. So it's a bit more expensive than Elementor, but let me also stress that when it comes to working with dynamic content, uh, websites that is that are a bit fairly more advanced than your than your typical a uh, blog or business or e-commerce site uh elemental would win because elemental is much better when it comes to you working with dynamic content being able to work with uh, advanced custom fields uh custom post types things like that in my experience i believe that elemental uh, would be the superior option uh, to cadence when it comes to search websites this of course now brings us to the topic of pricing which one is more affordable between elementor uh, and cadence i would say cadence is actually the cheaper option even if you were to go with the full bundle which costs you 200 dollars per year you will still have access to an unlimited number of websites and you will also have access to all the plugins and every other kind of feature available to you with cadence now with elementor if you were to go with the $200 per year plan, which is the expert plan, you will have access to only 25 uh, activations for your websites. It doesn't really matter at this point if you have just, let's say, three websites. However, it would make a significant difference if you were to go only with the essential bundle that costs you $129 per year. You will still have access to an unlimited number of websites. But for Elementor, if you had just two websites, you would have to make use of the expert plan, which will still cost you $200 per year. So overall, I would say that Cadence is the cheaper option uh, when compared with Elementor. Before I give you my final thoughts on Cadence, there is one more feature I wanted to talk about because it's actually a pretty cool feature, and that is the starter templates. It's a plugin that you can also install for free and you don't have to pay anything for it. But when you do so, you will have access to a very wide variety of templates that you can simply import to your website to get the ball rolling. And these are the templates right here. These are actually really, really well designed templates for different kinds of websites. And in fact, remember, remember the tutorial I told you that I was going to show you how to build the website for the Italian restaurant. This is the template right here. And everything you see in here can be accomplished with the free version of the Cadence theme and the Cadence plugin. That just tells you how feature rich the free versions of Cadence are. So I just wanted to draw your attention to this particular uh, plugin if you do decide to use Cadence. So overall, what do I think about Cadence? I will say that it is a very good alternative to either Gutenberg or Elementor. But if you're talking strictly in terms of functionality and what you can actually build, when compared with Elementor, it's slightly weaker than Elementor. The editing experience, the ability to work with dynamic content 
it's a little bit like when, it, when you compare that with Elementor. However, if you're building your regular websites for blogs, businesses, e-commerce websites, Cadence definitely is a pretty good alternative to Elementor. And of course, if speed is an important top priority for you, then definitely Cadence would be the option to go for as opposed to Elementor. So I can say right now that I'm pretty happy with Cadence. I've been working with it for quite some time now. I will be making tutorials around Cadence. And if there are any specific kinds of tutorials that you want me to cover with Cadence, uh, do let me know, drop down your comments in the comment section below. So that's it for today's video where I have talked about Cadence. I've given you my honest review and I've also compared Cadence uh, with Elemental and Gutenberg, but Elemental mostly. Uh, if you have any questions or comments or if you currently use Cadence and you'd like to share your opinion, please, I would love to hear from you. Drop your comments down in the comment section below. And like I said, if there are any particular tutorials that you want me to cover specifically with Cadence, uh, do let me know. But I will be working on the tutorial I told you about where I'm going to build that website for the Italian restaurant. So my name is Alex. If you enjoyed today's video, please do give it a thumbs up. Share the video with anyone you feel might benefit from it. If you're new here to the channel, welcome. I make tutorials on WordPress. Do subscribe, hit the bell so that you're notified whenever I upload a new tutorial. Stay safe out there and I'll talk to you next time. Cheers.